Red Wings fans stand up Yeah, we gonna throw them wings up Wings up, wings up Show the league that this is our time Let's make the city proud We gonna win the Stanley Cup Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup After that we gonna party We go show everybody We show them all around the world We show them all around the world We show them all around the world We gonna throw them wings up We gonna throw them wings up on uh. July was acquired by Ottawa. Another big hit. Hiroshi's got it again. Rasmussen in tight scores. There's that reach. No, he got his frustration out on that one after the miss on the penalty call. No, I mean, it was, a, it was a good win, um, you know, for a, for a young team that we had tonight. Um, it's a place to start. That's all you can ask for with the per first preseason game. Did you like the energy you guys showed? I mean, it seemed like it was there right from the start. Yeah, I thought we were competitive, uh, had a great work ethic. Um, and, you know, at this time of year, that's what you're looking for. The systems aren't going to be all down pat, but, um, you know, that's, that's all you can ask for. I mean, all these preseason games are pretty tough, I'd imagine, Luke, but that first one, I mean, just... I don't know, getting every, all the kinks out and playing with all these new people. I mean, how difficult is it? Yeah, um, you know, you just got to try to keep it simple. And, um, you know, getting back from Traverse City after a, a tough yeah. camp is, is never easy. But, um, you know, I thought we battled hard tonight, and I thought our energy was there and our work ethic was there. And, you know, that's, that's great for a first game. How did Svechnikov look to you after missing a whole year? I thought he looked good. Um, you know, he had a great back check there. He had some great opportunities on the power play. Um, I mean, he's a strong, strong kid. So uh, I knew he'd be all right. But yeah, I thought he played well. Uh, yeah, we were getting some chances there in the power play, so uh, yeah, I just got it in front and uh, tried to go to my back, and I think it went off the D-man, so um, good play by Taro and um, you know, good, uh, good late goal, I guess. You don't usually get a chance to, a second chance at it right after you have one basically taken away right there at a similar spot. How nice was it to get right back, right back on the next shot? Yeah, it was good. I was frustrated there. I tried to get it up a little more, so um, he made a good save on it. Linda was saying that he thinks that you gained some strength over the summer. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I do for sure. Yeah, um, I think I'm stronger on the puck and uh, I'm just strong with my skating. So um, today was a step and uh, I just got to keep moving forward and have a good preseason. So. Mike, what's your approach heading into this camp? I mean, you got you playing center. Does that, is that more comfortable for you at all? Uh, yes and no. I played all year last year uh, wing, so I haven't played center in a while, but um, that's my natural position. So. Um, I think it's just about getting your reps in and getting your games in. How good did it feel to play in a game again? Amazing. I felt like I went there for the first time like, like a kid, like going in first grade. So amazing feelings, better, even better to win the game and uh, just be with guys. So there's no better feelings. How about being assisting on the winning goal, though? Uh, it was good. I mean, I didn't really do much. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just put a pass on that side and uh, Tauko and Russ made everything else. So. Uh, but I don't really think about that. I'm more excited about that they played and that they won the games. How did you feel overall? You had a nice chance uh, in the second there, I think it was. Just how did you feel overall? Overall, uh, I feel I wasn't there myself yet. I think it's going to take a little bit more time. And uh, But, uh, you know, I, I had a couple of chances I could score. One uh, one shot that I shot there, but all we can do, it's all we can do. Uh, he made a pretty good save. but. Uh, that we had a uh, couple more chances on power play, but uh, I have felt overall I can I can be I can be a little bit better there, and uh, my stride not not there yet, and I can still I can still feel the knee. So were there some nerves or butterflies before this one, considering it's been uh, a bit? Not so much, uh, not so much, but uh, I was more ex excited, more ex excitement, and uh, uh, not as much nervous. Jeff has said, I mean, you need to be patient and understand it's a marathon, not a sprint, and relax and just play. Is that, yeah. you agree with that? I think it just comes because I want it's really, really bad, and I would like to, if there would be, if I would have five hands, I would grab that with five hands and not give anybody else, but uh, uh, the knee wouldn't let me. But it comes with, uh, with timing, and, uh, you know, I will still, uh, still learn, and uh, I just have to play games. Michael Rasmussen there taking the puck to the net on the power play. Is that what you really need to see out of him this season? 
Well, I think that's what can really separate him. I think he's got real, uh, I've said this from day one, he's a real good net front power play guy. He, he knows how to screen the goalie, he knows how to present his stick. Uh, he's got pretty soft hands in those areas. We'll keep working on trying to find different ways to be super dangerous uh, when he gets the puck there. Um, so it was a, it, it's it's a, what I would say, uh, you know, a typical Mike Rasmussen type goal and the impact that he can have on the game, I think is uh, can be definitely helped with this power play game. Yeah, you know what? I thought Svech played pretty good. I mean, he didn't play tons of minutes, but I thought he played pretty good. Uh, I thought, you know, you're out a full year. You, you have major surgery on your knee. Um, it's hard. And, you know, he's worked really hard. He's a great kid. And I thought overall he, he did a good job. So I think uh, just knowing that he played well and, and uh, having a positive impact on the game is a, is a real confidence booster. Uh, yeah, I thought he, I thought he played solid in those areas. You know, I, I think he can get a little more aggressive in the neutral zone uh, in the neutral zone forecheck. But I thought he played solid. Um, I thought uh, uh, he, he ended enough plays and did a good job. So you know, I thought uh, he moved the puck well. Um, he, he had one kind of over, maybe two over aggressive at the offensive blue line situations where it, it, it ended up in a little bit of a potential rushes against one Svech at an unreal back check on. Um, so those are just that's just that you know recognizing danger that I talked about earlier that he's got to continue to learn. Yeah, I mean, Nemeth, that's awesome, boy. I mean, I don't know how many blocks he had, but they were big ones, and they were stepping out. And uh, uh, which one? What's the block? Is it A, B? Is that right? A, B? Oh, it's B, oh, B, S. B, S. Yeah, they should. What's A, B? You know what B, S is, though, eh? You know what B, S is? Um, he had three, three. I mean, he's a good blocker. Like he, he knows he, our penalty kill is going to be better because he he knows how to kill. Like you got to block shots, and uh, he's great at it. I, I mean, somebody told me in one of the summer skates he blocked like 15 shots. I mean, he just he doesn't flinch. He blocked a shot in practice this morning that I was kind of like, ah, I don't know if we need to be doing that, you know. But that's just what he does. How do you evaluate guys when you got a mix like that out there? Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, I think it's always tricky a little bit with that. I think, um, you know, I've said this lots, uh, sometimes guys play well, but they might be out there against American League players, and sometimes they play well and they're out there against NHL players. So you got to be cognizant of who they're out there against. Uh, I don't think either coach was really trying to match lines. So I think sometimes, uh, you know, the guy's got a mix of both. But I, I just think early on, you know, we had a really hard four days of camp, and this is the fifth day, and, and I thought uh, for the first two periods we had tons of energy and we played really, really hard. We, we ran out of steam a little bit in the third. But I, I thought the times when they, when they pushed, we pushed back, so it was good for our guys.